Our Stent Lab is the verification mechanism for what we're deploying as part of the nationwide public safety broadband network. We want to ensure that the features and life-saving functions that this network will provide to public safety have been thoroughly tested and are ready for public safety's use before they go into the network. The team delivered and constructed the lab under budget and ahead of schedule. This will be a place for public safety, for our first responders to come in and um, look at available products and solutions, test and try, and then be able to give direct feedback to us and to developers to what are their likes, what are their dislikes, and what they would like to see developed, what kind of new features and functions they uh, they're looking for. So that uh, feedback is invaluable to uh, both us and developers because they can use that feedback, that information to uh, improve and enhance you know, existing products and also use those requirements to work on developing new technologies, new solutions that don't exist today, but there's definitely a need for it in public safety. We have multiple features. We had the walls painted with an RF absorbing paint. Probably 90% of radio frequency interference from the outside is removed. We have a Faraday cage, which is an RF isolation room that allows us to drive the radio signals well down near the thermal noise floor. And we have a, a unique device test room, it's a secure device test room, so that devices, prototype devices from vendors can bring their prototype devices in and we can test them in a secure location. Our lab team will be working with the future partner on uh, what type of equipment is going to be installed into the lab and uh, our goal is to actually work with that partner to get a better idea on what type of testing needs to be done in the lab for the needs for public safety LTE system deployment. What we are doing for public safety to ensure that the devices and the network and things like that are working prior to deployment so that they have a device and a network that works when they absolutely critically need it. We're also looking to push the envelope for public safety broadband on what can be done in the public safety mission critical space. There's lots of commercial development for applications. We all use them today as part of our smartphones and uh, other activities. Well, now we're really focusing in on public safety and some of the mission-critical needs for the first responders that save lives every day.